Skimming just a few feet above the water, wing and ground effect, or wig craft, promise a faster and more cost-effective alternative to conventional maritime vessels. ST Engineering is the latest company to try and commercialize them, and it has already achieved some commercial interest. It announced during the recent Singapore Air Show that a Turkish company has signed a letter of intent for 10 of its Airfish vehicles, plus options for an additional 10 units, with deliveries expected in 2025. Eurasia Mobility Solutions has opted for the 10-seat version of the Airfish family that Singapore-based ST Engineering offers through a joint venture with Widget Works called AirX. The Turkish company plans to operate the Airfish for tourism and private transport purposes. So we have a family of Airfish. This is a two-seater Airfish 3. We are in the midst of certifying the 10-seater Airfish 8. We have already two prototypes in Malacca that's doing ground tests and flight tests. And we are actually going to operations in 2025 and we hope that this craft will be able to connect people and redefine maritime industry, especially in Turkey with our launch customer. The aircraft is derived from a series of experimental wing and ground effect vehicles designed and flown by German company Airfoil Development in the 1960s and 70s. The German military evaluated one in 1977, but did not opt to place an order. Two decades later, Airfoil Development built the Airfish 3 and larger Airfish 8. These prototypes underwent sea trials in 2001. In 2004, Widget Works bought the intellectual property rights and the prototypes, and after further testing, it built two pre-production Airfish 8 models in 2017 and 2018. The Royal Thai Navy evaluated them and delivered a positive verdict, but again, it did not place an order. However, the AirX joint venture now believes it has a market for the vehicle. So the market that we are looking at and applications are in the tourism sector where we move people to remote islands and to remote coastal areas. And we do have a customer that is coming on in Turkey called EuroAsia Mobility to actually move people around in the Mediterranean area. And there are also paramilitary and military applications like missions that requires fast response, medevac or even sensors deployment. Wigcraft use aerodynamic lift plus air pressure generated by flying close to the water surface, reducing induced drag. ST Engineering says that wigs are inherently stable and therefore need no complex flight control systems. The two models are powered by conventional piston engines derived from motorcycle and automotive applications, with the more powerful Airfish 8 capable of cruising between 70 and 90 knots. So what we are going on with the concept of maintainability and simplicity, so for this craft behind us, it's actually using a motorcycle engine, a BMW engine. Uh, for the bigger one, we're actually using a car engine that requires less maintenance, ease of use, simplicity, and the intent is to make the craft cheaper and more valuable for our customers. For the Airfish 8, the company has specified a pair of General Motors LS Series V8 engines, each producing 500 horsepower. If operated in ground effect and up to 500 feet, the Airfish can be certified under International Maritime Organization rules. Above that altitude, it must achieve ICAO certification. ST Engineering also sees potential military applications in littoral waters as a stealth platform and in parapublic roles such as medical evacuation and oil spill response. Meanwhile, in the US, a Boston-based startup called Regentcraft is developing a 12-passenger wing vehicle called the Viceroy that it describes as a sea glider. The company, which has backing from Lockheed Martin, is preparing to start flight testing a full-scale prototype this year and aims to be ready to start making deliveries in 2027 to prospective customers including Surfair, which would operate them in Florida.